Friends, we'll pray together our novena. You can be seated for this or whatever you'd like to do. If you have your bulletin with you, I believe it's page 12, and it's the second one. We had one for Saturday. We'll pray the one for Sunday. These are also available online, so if you're not able to tune in or to physically come to Mass and pray with us, you can certainly pray at home or bring those novena prayers to whomever you would like uh, who wouldn't be joining us in person. So Sunday, the third day, the gift of fortitude. For the unity and well-being of Holy Spirit Parish, that we might do the will of God. Please pause now and add your own intentions in silence. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Fortitude is steadfastness in doing what is right and good in the face of obstacles and trials. The gift of fortitude overcomes unreasonable fears on the one hand and keeps us from being reckless on the other. It is the special virtue of those who are pioneers in any endeavor. Fortitude makes it possible for us to undertake difficult tasks, to face risks and dangers, and to endure whatever comes without undue anxiety, discouragement, or complaint. Without fortitude, we cannot hope to persevere in our Christian calling, nor can we fulfill the mission that is ours by baptism and confirmation, to bear witness to the gospel for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit renew in us the gift of fortitude amid all the challenges presented by today's society and culture. And let us pray. Almighty Almighty Father, Father, be gracious gracious and bless us us with with the gift of the Holy Spirit Spirit, so that that we we may may preserve with fortitude, fortitude, or persevere in fortitude, what is doing right and know to be right. Strengthen us in our weakness so that that when we are weary, discouraged, or are put to the test, we may overcome every obstacle and be refreshed on the path to holiness and virtue. May no trial or difficulty keep us from bearing witness to the splendor of truth which radiates from the face of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray, now and forever. Amen. Mary, Tower of Fortitude, and let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Savior, and grant us confidence that through these sacred mysteries there will be accomplished in the body of the whole Church what has already come to pass in Christ her head, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to